Hello students, welcome to Kenny's Educare, a group of Kenny Solutions. Today we will be starting with lesson number 23 which is infectious diseases and how to prevent them. Now what do you mean by infectious diseases? You know that a lot of times you get infection because of which you get you get rashes on your skin. Sometimes you get cough, you sneeze a lot. You get fever. So there are many infectious diseases that occur in human beings as well as in animals also. Okay. So in this lesson, you will be studying about why are this infectious disease occurring in humans and how we are going to prevent them. Because if something is occurring, there is also a solution. If there is a problem, there is also a solution to it, right? So in this lesson, you will be learning about the problem that is the infectious disease. You will be learning how this infectious diseases are caused, what are the reasons behind it and you will be learning how you are going to prevent them. Because it is very important that we be healthy every time, right? Because being healthy, being a healthy mind, being a healthy body is very important for us, right? So, this lesson will give you an information, a brief information on your surrounding, on your body, on the diseases. Now, we all are aware of COVID-19. Because of which the schools have shut down, people are facing so many issues. COVID-19 ke wajah se puri market band hai. So, there are many problems do ye COVID-19 ke wajah se hui hai. We are now... Uh, wrapped up with a mask, we have a mask hai. we are using a sanitizer so using a sanitizer is a good habit that we have evolved because because this infectious disease fennling ka ek reason is our dirty hands khana khane se pehle hum apne hands ko wash karna bhool jate hai. that was a bad habit that we used to have but now because of covid-19 we have started sanitizing our hands we have started maintaining cleanliness and hygiene Okay, so let's start with this lesson with can you tell question when your friends fall while playing and get hurt does anyone tell you don't get near them you will also get hurt yes suppose she is your friend okay she is your friend and she has got hurt so does anyone tell you don't go near her otherwise you will also get hurt yes have you heard someone saying this? No, right? Because this, when someone gets hurt, we will not get hurt. But if someone gets cuff or someone gets cold, people tell that stay away. Now, COVID situation, as I was explaining you all about COVID, COVID me kya why people are getting cold and cuff and they are told to stay in one bedroom and should not come out of the room. And this is why COVID is not going to be in the room. It is not going to be in the room. It is not going to be in the room. It is not going Which is said by PM Modi. Right? So, the, because those are infectious diseases, it is a communicable disease. This word is not mentioned in your lesson. This is an extra thing. But you should know diseases are two types. One is communicable. And the other is non-communicable. Okay? So, the communicable diseases are the same as the other one. Just like the cold is the same as the other one. Non-communicable diseases are the same as the other one. So, if the other one is the friend who is in contact, then it is not the same as the other one. So, diseases are the same as the other Always remember this communicable and non-communicable diseases. This is just a journal knowledge which I have provided, which is not included in your textbook. Okay, so suppose your mother has a headache. Do you also get a headache if you go near your mother? No. So getting a headache or getting hurt somewhere. Agar aapko lagi hai to ye zaruri nahi hai that your mama will also get hurt. Ya aapka headache ho raha hai to zaruri nahi hai that your mama will also get a headache. Because this diseases don't spread. But when we talk about COVID, COVID was spread ho tha na because of its trains shut down, ho gaye, schools banned. Ho gaye because if you have to say that 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 
you are told not to go near a sick person not to use their utensils for eating or drinking and not to use their hankies towels or clothes to bhi ye headache and hurt wala jo hum log condition dekha yahan pe we are not getting any type of uh, what can we say any type of diseases if we get near them agar hum unke aas pass jayenge to hame diseases nahi hoga but there are some of the diseases agar aapne unka hanky use kar liya इनके यूटेंसिल्स यूज कर लिए तो यू विल ऑल्सो गेट सिक एंड यू विल ऑल्सो गेट डिजीजेस ओके सो कोल्ड एंड कफ यू कैन गेट दैट आर कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेस देन यू कैन गेट एड्स ओके एंड देर आर वेरियस डिजीजेस विच यू कैन गेट ठीक है सी वॉट आर इन्फेक्शियस डिजीजेस एज द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज इन्फेक्शियस डिजीजेस You should know what are infectious diseases. Okay, so mother's burn or grandpa's backache, they are not passed on from them to others. And if your mama kitchen me kaam karte karte, if she gets a burn, or your grandpa is having a backache, to kya wo ab tak aayega? No. However, one has to take care to stay away from people who are ill with the flu. So. कुछ लोग बीमार हो जाते हैं दे गेट फ्लू जैसे कि इन्फ्लुएंजा हो गया कोल्ड हो गया रिंग वॉर्म हो गया स्केबीज हो गया अब रिंग वॉर्म और स्केबीज में क्या होता है यू नो आपके पूरे बॉडी पे यू विल गेट ईचिंग खुजली होगी आपको देन चिकन पॉक्स इट कैन आल्सो स्प्रेड सो दिस डिजीज इज दिस स्प्रेड फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू दी अदर तो ये जो डिजीजेज है इन्फ्लुएंजा कोल्ड रिंग वॉर्म स्केबीज दे स्प्रेड फ्रॉम वन ऑफ योर फ्रेंड टू द अदर फ्रेंड एंड दैट इज वाई this diseases they are called as infectious diseases and your mother's burn or your grandpa's backache they are called as non infectious diseases you have to remember this because they are not infecting others okay so this is non infectious disease and this are infectious disease the disease which spread from one person to the other they are called as infectious disease okay Now the a question arises what causes this disease because this is a flu and there are bacteria microorganism in the air surrounding us suppose if someone is having cold and cough and the per- person sneezes so what happens droplets from the nose and the mouth they will get mixed in the air and the person around can also get diseases so this is how the disease spreads hai na अभी सपोज किसी ने किसको रिंग वॉर्म हुआ है या स्केबीज हो रही है एंड उनको बहुत ज्यादा खुजली हो रही है पूरे बॉडी पे तो अगर आपने उनका टावल यूज कर लिया व्हाट विल हैपन इट विल आल्सो स्प्रेड टू यू ओके सो यूजिंग देयर यूटेंसिल्स यूजिंग देयर क्लोथ्स यूजिंग देयर शेव व्हाट वी से यूजिंग देयर ब्लेड्स एंड एवरीथिंग विल कॉज यू द डिजीज टू अकर ओके सो यू हैव टू वेरी you have to be very much questioned about this diseases you have to take care of this okay because there are many diseases which spread from one person to other and they are caused by one and only microorganisms what are microorganisms micro matlab chote chote organisms and these are not visible to us with our naked eye agar hame microorganisms ko dekhna hai to hame microscope use karna padega what we have to use वी हैव टू यूज अ माइक्रोस्कोप अगर आपको माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स को देखना है तो ओके सो एवरी इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज इज कॉज बाई अ स्पेसिफिक माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म और जम कोई भी इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज हो वो स्प्रेड कैसे होता है बिकॉज ऑफ अ स्पेसिफिक माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म और अ स्पेसिफिक जम विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द एयर विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द फूड विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द वॉटर सो वी कैन गेट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स फ्रॉम आर फूड एंड वॉटर ऑल्सो ओके and what will happen if the germ or the microorganism of any of the disease they will enter your body they will grow inside your body and they will get you disease so what happened first the microorganism i'll write the shortcut microorganisms or germs they will enter your body they will grow inside your body and will give you the disease okay so the question arises here how is one person disease passed on to another person Re- yes how does how does this spread so see when a person has a cold suppose a person is having a cold or your friend is having a cold okay so it means your friend is having germs inside their body right 
so germs from his body will spread in the air around us okay whenever he will cough or he will sneeze so what happened the germ from his body has now spread in the air and with when this germs they will enter the other people's body or your body you will also get the disease so this is how the infectious disease they are spreading okay so one example given here is typhoid typhoid spreads when its germs are passed on by a person who is ill with typhoid to another person suppose one of your friend he is having typhoid okay and he didn't knew about about it he came to school and school may next day you are also getting typhoid so why this has happened because your friend was having the typhoid and the germs of typhoid has now passed on to you so this is how the infectious disease spread from one person to another and this is how covid was spreading okay so next topic is the spread now you know you are aware of the term infectious diseases now how this infectious disease is spread so what are the different ways in which the infectious disease is spread so first one is spread of disease through air then the second one is spread of disease through water and the third one is spread of disease through food so these are the important three basic mediums jiske through jo diseases are spread hote hain and sabse zyada diseases air ke through hi spread spread hote hain okay so the germs of a disease like influenza they are present in the spit or saliva what is spit and saliva jo hamare mouth ke andar thuk hota hai na that is called as spit and saliva in english okay hamare saliva ke andar bhi germs present hota hai if we are having certain kind of disease to so, wo spit or saliva whenever agar suppose he is a person who is having influenza and isne spit kar diya road pe so what happened सारे जो जर्म्स थे स्पिड के दे विल गेट मिक्स्ड विद द एयर एयर के साथ मिक्स हो गए ये एंड द पर्सन हु विल कम इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद द एयर उसको भी फिर इन्फ्लुएंजा हो जाएगा राइट सो व्हेन ही कप्स व्हेन एवर द पर्सन विद इन्फ्लुएंजा विल कफ और ही विल स्पिट दे द जर्म्स विल एंटर द एयर विद टाइनी ड्रॉपलेट्स ऑफ सलाइवा और द स्पिट टाइनी मीन स्मॉल ड्रॉपलेट्स ओके and when other person will breathe in that same air suppose you are here so your this is an environment jahan pe pura same air present hai so suppose you are breathing the air which contains the spit of this influenced person then what might happen you can also get the same disease because the germ is entering your body through the air and you cannot even see that right so disease of a throat chest they spread through air to so chest se related disease ho ya throat se related disease ho they spread through air for example cold and cough tuberculosis which is also called as tb swine flu aapko pata hai swine flu pehle bahut zyada phail gaya tha and it was uh, spreading jaise covid spread hua hai na waise hi swine flu spread hua tha and we got uh, holidays for our school okay i think so that time you might be very much small okay so that is why we are told to cover our nose and mouth when we cough or sneeze so the reason the scientific reason behind covering our nose and mouth when we cough or sneeze is preventing the germs to spread because if the germs in from your body it will spread it can cause disease to hundreds of people so you should prevent them from spreading okay it is your basic duty that you cover your nose and mouth whenever you want to cough or you want to sneeze okay what can you see in this picture see some of the women they are washing their clothes some are bathing in the water some are uh, doing the bath of their animals in the water right then there are many activities which are going on in this small amount of water which is mixed with the river and the lakes so is it good is it a good thing or is it a bad thing obviously it's a bad thing and should we do it or we should not do it we should not do it because this people think that they are polluting only this much of water but this water is getting so many germs from this animal from the clothes then from the from the body the person who is bathing from their body then they are also uh, putting the trash the uh, all the waste they are throwing in the water 
So not only this much quantity of water is wasted, but this water will go and mix with the river and the lake. And the whole river and lake will pollute, ho jayega, right? So we should stop doing this because it is our responsibility to prevent the pollution of the public sources of water. Right? This is the public source of water because all the public will use the water from this side. Right? Private source kya ho gaya? Private source means the tap in your house. Okay? Is the private source of water that you are having. But the river, lake, ponds, they are the public source because all the people residing near that will use that. Right? See, now we saw the first one, spread of disease through air. Now, how does it spread through water? How does the infectious diseases spread through water? Can you tell me what different activities are going on in the above picture? See, in the above picture, what was happening? People were washing their animals. People were taking bath. People were throwing the trash in the river. Right? People were urinating in the river. People were washing their clothes in the river. So, there were many such activities which were going on that is causing water pollution, right? So, there are different diseases which are caused by drinking polluted water. Polluted water means the activities that they are doing. Abhi jo body, animal ke body ke andar jo bhi germs hoga, that germs will go and mix in the water and ye water ko consume kaun karne wala hai? This people, right? So ultimately what will happen? They will have to suffer from different different diseases. So which are the different diseases that occur because of the polluted water? One is cholera, okay, cholera, giardia, okay, hepatitis A, diarrhea and typhoid. The most common disease that occur because of the contaminated, contaminated food and water is typhoid okay so you you should be aware and you should be safe from drinking such polluted water you should always boil your water before drinking it okay see the germs of the disease of the intestine now typhoid is a disease which is caused in the intestine when the germs enter the intestine we get this disease like typhoid cholera Diarrhea as also of jaundice, they are present in the feces of the affected person. What do you mean by feces? Feces means the stool, the waste material that you eliminate out of your body early morning. Every morning you eliminate out, right? So, wo feces ke andar ye sare germs present hote hain and because of which ye feces the water ke andar jayenge, water will get that germs and when you come in contact with that water, what will happen? You will get all these diseases like typhoid, cholera, diarrhea, okay? So, if the feces get mixed with water, the germs in it also enter the water. If the feces will enter the water, it means the germs of the feces, they are also entering the water. So, if another person drinks water, which has been contaminated by this germ, suppose one person is drinking the water because he is not knowing that the water is containing feces or the water is containing germs and he is drinking water what is happening he is drinking that germ also so he is drinking the contaminated water right so what will happen this germs they will enter his intestine and the person will get the disease and the disease might be typhoid the disease might be cholera diarrhea or anything okay so to prevent the spread of disease in this manner it is best to avoid washing clothes, bathing in the water sources or defecating on the banks of the water etc. Many people still do, they don't use washroom. They go on the railway tracks, they go near the river, they, grow, they go in the agricultural land, like to defecate. Okay, they are not using washroom still. So that is causing so many diseases, so many infectious diseases, right? So... To prevent these diseases, what we have to do, we don't have to wash our clothes in water, water bodies, we don't have to take bath in water bodies and we don't have to defecate on the banks of the water, okay? And if you see anyone doing that, make them aware of it, okay? Now, this is the four steps that you need to practice for the food safety, which we are going to study in the next slide. See, 
now these are the spread of the disease that spread through food okay now what do you see in the picture below there are so many flies and people are purchasing the sweets mosquitoes are rotating then there are rodents then rats mice which are going here and there and you can see that all the food which is there is contaminated because see suppose this is the stool or this is the stool or the cow dung okay stool means what the waste material that you eliminate early morning theek hai to is pe aake mosquito jo hai mosquito set on it and from sitting there now mosquito has come and now the mosquito is sitting on the food so the germs from the stool and the cow dung has now entered our food and who is consuming the food yes humans and what has happened now the germs from this stool it will now enter the food and from the food it will enter the humans so this is how the disease is spreading through water okay so you may have heard of number of people getting gastro or diarrhea after eating contaminated food at a function diarrhea means loose motion ठीक है बहुत सारे लोगों को होता है एंड वाई दिस हैपन्स बिकॉज दे हैव कंज्यूम्ड कंटेमिनेटेड फूड ओके सो डिजीज स्प्रेड थ्रू फूड ऑल्सो सो वी शुड बी वेरी मच केयरफुल वॉट काइंड ऑफ फूड वी आर ईटिंग वी शुड ऑलवेज कवर आर फूड एंड वी शुड कीप ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज फूड पॉइजनिंग सो इफ यू आर ईटिंग अ कंटेमिनेटेड फूड इट कैन ऑल्सो कॉज फूड पॉइजनिंग ओके सो दिस इज अ फीस ऑन एन ओपन प्ले ग्राउंड okay feast means people are eating there on a playground there is one function where there are so many animals there uh, all the waste materials they are kept there and people are sitting there and they are enjoying their meal okay but when they will go home from this function what will happen you know they will get loose motion they will get food poisoning why because all the germs from their surrounding has entered their food and from the food they have consumed they are getting this diseases okay so wherever you go anywhere just look at the place and then consume the foods okay you have seen flies sitting on dirt and a flies to us pe rehta hai and they sit on dirt only and when they sit on the feces of a person feces means the waste material the stool of a person who has an intestinal diseases suppose this is a person who is having an intestinal disease suppose typhoid ओके द पर्सन इज हैविंग टाइफॉइड एंड इसका जो स्टूल था इसके ऊपर फ्लाइज आ गए तो द जर्म्स हैव अटैच टू द फ्लाइज लेग एंड नाउ द फ्लाइज आर सिटिंग ऑन योर फूड एंड नाउ यू आर कंज्यूमिंग अ फूड व्हाट विल हैपन नाउ द फूड यू विल ईट द फूड इट मींस यू आर ईटिंग द जर्म्स व्हिच वाज प्रेजेंट राइट एंड व्हेन यू विल ईट द जर्म्स व्हाट विल हैपन द जर्म विल एंटर योर बॉडी and we can get the same disease and that is why it is very important to always keep our food covered like this we should not eat uncovered food okay and we should also wash our hands before eating our food this is a good habit which we should always follow because we touch here and there and uh the air contains so many germs so many objects might be having so many microorganisms attached on it we don't know because we cannot see them so if our hands might be having microorganisms or germs and we will eat with that hand what will happen the germs and microorganisms will enter your body they will grow and they will cause diseases okay see फूड इज हैंडल्ड वाइल प्रिपेयरिंग और सर्विंग हिट राइट फूड को कोई ना कोई तो हैंडल करता ही है ना वेन एवर दे आर प्रिपेयरिंग इट और वेन एवर दे आर सर्विंग इट सो इफ सम वन हु हैज एन इंटेस्टिनल डिजीज हैंडल्स और सर्व द फूड विदाउट वॉशिंग हिज हैंड्स प्रॉपरली सपोज दिस इज अ पर्सन ही इज सर्विंग यू ही इज गिविंग यू द फूड at a specific function and this person has got an intestinal disease so he have not washed his hand and he is now serving you with his hand so what will happen the germs will stick on his hand and from his hand the germs can enter the food and now what will happen you will eat that germ food right 
so that will cause food contamination food contaminated in this way can also cause us disease and one must avoid eating it okay maintaining cleanliness everywhere is beneficial for our health because if we will not maintain cleanliness our health will not will get bad because germs will enter our body that is not good for our body right if we get germs or if we get microorganisms entered our body our body will get certain disease okay and we may fall sick and we will not be able to do any kind of the work so you should always follow food safety rules because food safety is everyone's business okay you should always wash your vegetables and fruits that you bring from the market okay you should eat healthy fruits and vegetables you should always cover your food okay you should not keep the food open see can you tell what steps will you take to ensure that the dust and the flies that do not settle on the food in your house what you will do for this so you are what you have to do keeping the food covered ensures that the flies cannot sit on it so if you this is the food and if you are keeping it covered it means you are ensured now you are 100% sure now that the flies will not come and sit on it right neither the dust can sit on it and neither any of the rubbish from your surrounding can enter it because if you will cover it there is no space for the air to enter there is no space for the microorganisms to enter there is no space for the flies to enter so it means you are protecting your food very much correctly you are preserving your food right so this prevents the microorganisms from entering the food and if you are preventing the microorganisms it means you are pre preventing the spread of disease okay so this is the best way to stop spreading infection okay what's the best way to stop spreading infection to keep our food covered okay see how to prevent it from spreading suppose if any disease has occurred so how you will prevent it from spreading in your environment see first of all these are the covid rules that we are still uh following okay so avoid physical contact with people showing signs and symptoms such as continuous high fever red eyes vomiting and stomach ache because these are infectious diseases and if you will be in contact with them what might happen you will also get fever red eyes vomiting and stomach ache and this is how the disease from that person will spread to you also okay secondly what you have to do you have to wash your hands regularly with soap and clean water okay so before eating before using the washroom we should wash our hands properly and regularly using soap and water the third thing that you have to do is do not shake hands with a person showing signs of aerola or any of the signs of diseases because his hands might contain the germs and microorganisms and if you will shake hands what might happen the germs and the microorganism from his hand might touch your or might enter your hands and this is how the disease will spread to you also okay then keep away from bats monkeys the bones and dead animals okay you should be away from them because dead animals ke upar fungi and many different microorganisms grow so whenever you see any of the dead organisms dead animals you have to be you have to stay away from them okay and the last thing avoid eating bush meat cook all food very well okay you know when you cook your food what happens you heat your food right and because of the heat that you give your food what happens all the germs and microorganisms in your food they will get killed okay so this is also one of the best method of killing the germs and microorganisms by heating it okay so we have to cook our full food very well so this is this are the five steps that you should follow so that you prevent yourself from any of the diseases that occur theek hai the spread of diseases by insects okay this is the fourth one we saw spread of diseases through air 
spread of disease through water spread of disease through food next one is spread of disease through insects okay because insects also spread a lot of diseases so you, you may be aware that one can get malaria from the bite of a certain kind of mosquito yes and what happens if you go on sweet shop you see that the mosquitoes they just take a round around the sweet things na so when this type of mosquito bites someone who has malaria okay the malaria germs in that person's blood enter the mosquito's body with the blood it sucks okay see suppose this is a person and now he is having malaria now one more mosquito came he sat on his body and mosquito ka kaam kya hai to suck your blood now he has sucked your blood and this is someone else who is not having malaria okay now what happened the same mosquito from here the mosquito came and sat on his hand and it sucks its blood so what happened jo bhi blood isne suck kiya tha that will reach his hand and the germs from his hand will enter his hand right and this is how the other person will also get malaria okay so if this mosquito bites another person malaria germs can enter that person's body too and he can also get malaria so this is how the disease are spreading okay so insects like mosquito lice fleas they all spread diseases that is why we must stop such insects from breeding what do you mean by breeding unka population increase karne se we have to stop them okay now see this spread of disease by direct contact okay direct contact kuch disease direct contact se bhi ho jata hai jaise ki ringworm scabies these are the diseases that affect the skin and these germs are mainly found on the skin itself so agar kisi ko abhi suppose this is a person who is having scabies or ringworm ringworm mein kya hota hai you know aisa ek gol se red aapko ban jata hai so agar iska person ka body aapke skin ke upar touch karega to you will also get the disease same disease so this is this is spreading because of the direct contact right so if someone else comes in contact with the skin of a person having this disease or wears his clothes then the person can get the same disease too so if the person is having ringworm and scabies and if you are coming in contact with their skin or if you are wearing their clothes or if you are using their soap you will also get this ringworm and scabies and that is why it is better to avoid the sharing clothes okay so you should not share clothes because if someone might be having this any of the disease you will also get the same disease so it is better that we protect ourselves by avoiding the sharing of clothes okay now an epidemic of a disease okay epidemic of a disease suppose this is an area ye area mein sabko malaria ho raha hai so this is an epidemic okay कोविड इज अ पेंडेमिक बिकॉज ये सब जगह हुआ है हर एक कंट्री में हुआ है तो दो टाइप के डिजीजे होते हैं एक तो एपिडेमिक अगर एक स्पेसिफिक एरिया में या एक स्पेसिफिक कंट्री में होता है तो दैट इज एपिडेमिक पर अगर हर जगह हो रहा है देन इट बिकम्स अ पेंडेमिक ओके यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस थिंग सो जर्म्स ऑफ डिजीजेज लाइक द फ्लू और कंजक्टिवाइटिस स्प्रेड क्विकली थ्रू द एयर सो देर आर फ्लूज एंड कंजक्टिवाइटिस जिसके जर्म्स एयर के थ्रू बहुत जल्दी जल्दी स्प्रेड होते हैं so many people can get such diseases all at one time you all are aware of covid na this is the good example that we are having and a bahut jaldi jaldi spread ho raha tha many people got this many people died because of this so if the water of a common source is contaminated by germs of disease like cholera then there is a danger of all those who drink that water getting the disease suppose this is your building okay and this is a tank that is there and everyone in your building is consuming the water which is present in this tank okay and the water in this tank is contaminated with the germ which will cause cholera okay now everyone have drank this water so every person in your in your building they will get cholera so this becomes an epidemic okay so if at some place mosquitoes breed in large numbers then there may people people there may get malaria suppose a rainy season hai okay rainy season hai 
एंड हर जगह पर पानी जमा हुआ पड़ा हुआ है तो वॉट हैपन्स जहाँ पे पानी जमा होता है मॉस्क्यूटोज ज्यादा वहाँ पे ही आते हैं एंड दे ब्रीड एंड दे इंक्रीज देर पॉपुलेशन तो हाउ वी विल प्रिवेंट दिस मलेरिया फ्रॉम स्प्रेडिंग बाय नॉट अलाउविंग द वॉटर टू स्टोर एट एनी ऑफ द प्लेस ओके सो वेन मेनी पीपल इन वन एरिया गेट द सेम इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज ऑल एट द सेम टाइम वी से दैट देर इज एन एपिडेमिक ऑफ द डिजीज एज आई टोल्ड यू एपिडेमिक मतलब ये किसी स्पेसिफिक एरिया में या रीजन में होगा ओके एंड पैंडमिक इज कोविड का एग्जाम्पल इज पैंडमिक ये हर जगह पे हुआ है ये पूरे वर्ल्ड में हो गया तो अगर कोई भी डिजीज पूरे वर्ल्ड में है दैट बिकम्स अ पैंडमिक अगर कोई डिजीज सिर्फ एक एरिया में है या दो तीन एरिया में है दैट बिकम्स एन एपिडेमिक ओके सो यू शुल नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एपिडेमिक एंड पैंडमिक ठीक है सी एयर वॉटर फूड एंड इंसेक्ट दे आर द मीडियम थ्रू विच द डिजीज स्प्रेड है ना एंड वी स्टडीड दैम वेल कि एयर स्प्रेड स्प्रेड ऑफ डिजीज थ्रू एयर स्प्रेड ऑफ डिजीज थ्रू वॉटर स्प्रेड ऑफ डिजीज थ्रू फूड थ्रू इंसेक्ट है ना वी स्टडीड एंड दिस आर ऑल द मीडियम्स जिनके थ्रू डिजीज हम तक स्प्रेड होता है हैंस इफ एवरी वन टेक्स केयर टू एंश्योर दैट द जर्म्स डू नॉट एंटर आर फूड आर वॉटर एयर ओके इफ वी एंश्योर कि जो जर्म्स है वो हमारे खाने तक ना है पानी तक ना आए हमारे एयर में मिक्स मिक्स ना हो एंड टू प्रिवेंट द ब्रीडिंग ऑफ द इंसेक्ट दैट स्प्रेड डिजीज इट इज पॉसिबल टू प्रिवेंट अ डिजीज फ्रॉम बिकमिंग एन एपिडेमिक अगर सब ने ध्यान देना चालू कर दिया ओके तो वॉट विल हैपन वी कैन प्रिवेंट द डिजीज फ्रॉम बिकमिंग एन एपिडेमिक ओके सो फॉर दिस इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस टू मेक क्लीनलीनेस अ हैबिट okay everyone of us should have the habit to maintain at least ourselves and our surrounding clean okay so you have to fight back you have to clean wash your hands and surface often you have to uh, don't allow cross contamination you have to separate all the foods you have to refrigerate your food properly you have to cook your food at proper temperature and this is how we will be able to avoid this epidemic conditions that occur okay Now can you tell me why should you not go to school if you have conjunctivitis because this is an infectious disease and if you go to school with this conjunctivitis what might happen your friends might also get this conjunctivitis so you don't have to go to school if you have any of the infectious diseases that we have discussed okay so people who have a serious infection like tuberculosis or swine flu they are quarantine now we all are aware of the word quarantine we have to stay separate we have to stay uh separate from our family members also if we are having tuberculosis or swine flu because they may spread rapidly to your family members also okay so there are spread separate wards in the hospital for people with infectious diseases so if someone is having tuberculosis swine flu covid we have seen that hospitals are having separate separate wards for each and every person which are in, who are infected right so to prevent the disease from spreading through water the water is it is purified at the water work okay so before reaching the water to your house it has been purified at our water work and then you are drinking it so in smaller towns and villages bleaching powder is added to the community source of water so that all the germs which are present in the water they are killed okay what they are they are bleaching powder so that the water becomes safe for the drinking and when there is an epidemic of gastro or jaundice people are advised to boil the water before they drink it because gastro and jaundice cup cup spread ho raha tha because of the contaminated food and water that we eat isliye jab bhi kisi ko jaundice hota hai या किसी को गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टिनल डिजीजे होते हैं दे आर टोल्ड एंड दे आर एडवाइज दैट दे शुड बॉइल देर वॉटर एंड देन ओनली दे शुड ड्रिंक इट ओके एंड टू प्रिवेंट द मॉस्क्यूटोज फ्रॉम ब्रीडिंग वी मस्ट एंश्योर दैट देर इज नो स्टैगनेंट स्टैगनेंट मतलब पानी कहीं पर भी जमा ना हो आपके सराउंडिंग में अब जो हमारा रोड है उसके ऊपर लूप होल्स है गड्ढे हैं उस गड्ढे में पानी जमा होता है एंड देर मॉस्क्यूटोज ब्रीड सो दिस इज हाउ ऑल्सो द मॉस्क्यूटोज आर ब्रीडिंग एंड कॉजिंग मलेरिया एंड वेरियस डिजीजेस so we should stay we should take care that we are not allowing the water to become stagnant in any of the places in our surrounding okay but if that is not possible insecticides have to used 
अगर आप ये नहीं कर पा रहे हो इफ यू आर नॉट इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू प्रिवेंट दिस स्टैगनेंट वाटर वॉट यू कैन डू यू कैन यूज इंसेक्टिसाइड एंड वेन यू विल यूज इंसेक्टिसाइड वॉट विल हैपन ऑल द इंसेक्ट्स विल गेट किल्ड ओके दस डिजीजेज लाइक मलेरिया कैन बी प्रिवेंटेड इट इज नॉट इम्पॉसिबल टू प्रिवेंट एनी ऑफ द डिजीजेज इफ वी आर प्रॉपरली वी कैन प्रिवेंट टीच एंड एवरी डिजीजेज ओके See, this is how the breeding ground for mosquitoes looks looks like. Okay, so people who have a serious infectious disease like tuberculosis or swine flu, they are quarantined. This all we discussed, right? So the clothes, utensils used by the patients, they are also washed with germicides. ठीक है ताकि उनके कपड़े पे या उनके utensils पे जो भी germs है they will get killed because अगर ये germs किसी और ने वो ही utensils में खा लिया they will also get the germs. and they will also get the infectious disease okay so they their clothes and utensils they are washed with germicides the spittle of a person who has tuberculosis is collected in a vessel and is covered with a germicide like phenyl to so, abhi suppose kisko tuberculosis hai to the person spits a lot to unka jo spit hota hai thook hota hai usko ek vessel ke andar hum collect karte hain and uske upar fir phenyl dalte hain so that all the germs are getting killed okay so such precautions helps us to prevent from spreading the disease to others okay so to prevent the spread of disease through air people should cover their mouth when sneezing or coughing and avoid spitting in the open aapko kabhi bhi bahar aap ja rahe ho you should never spit you should when you are sneezing or coughing you should always use your handkerchief and you should cover your mouth okay and if it is necessary to be with such a patient a mask should be worn to cover the nose and the mouth If someone around you is having any of the flu, what you have to do? You have to wear a mask. Now, every one of us are having the habit of wearing it, right? And if someone in the family gets an infectious disease, the government health department should be informed so that necessary steps for preventing the spread of the disease can be taken. Now, we are very much aware of this. अभी किसी को family में COVID हो रहा था तो we are we were making aware the government health departments and they were helping us to go through this right so any any one of the family members if they get any of the infectious disease we can inform them okay see the next topic is vaccination when there is an epidemic of a disease does every person in the area get the disease yes because it's an epidemic why it is called as epidemic because every person is getting the same disease na in a specific area so when this disease producing microorganism they will enter our body the body will resist the disease or fight the germs and the body will try to fight against it and that is why what happens many time we do not get a disease even if the germs enter our body so if our immune system is strong abhi covid ke situation mein kya hua i think so 60% of the people got covid and rest 40% they have not got covid so why this has happened because unka immune system strong tha and the body has fight against covid but some of the people didn't had the strong immunity and that is why they were unable to fight against it okay so if your immune system is strong you will not get the disease if even if the germs enter your body okay so this was the first way another way to prevent any of the disease is the vaccination we all are get, getting vaccinated of covid vaccination of the covid right covid shield and covaxin these are the two vac vaccines right that we are taking for covid so vaccination is an another way how we can prevent ourselves from any of the diseases our body develops resistance to a particular disease due to vaccination now what does the vaccination do to us it prevents the disease it makes our body resistant even if the covid virus yeah it will enter your body you will not get covid if you are vaccinated because the vaccination is making your body resistant to covid okay soon after a baby is born she is given the tuberculosis vaccine why tuberculosis vaccine so that in future the baby if the germs of tuberculosis enters the body of the baby the baby will not get tuberculosis why because she has been vaccinated and she had been made resistant to tuberculosis okay when the baby is 1 and 1/2 month old she is given vaccinations against diphtheria whooping cough tetanus and polio so when the baby becomes 1 and 1/2 months old 
there are various vaccinations which are given you can ask your mama if you have taken every vaccine or not okay then two more doses of this vaccination are given at the inter interval of one month so after taking this vaccination after one month they, they have to take the vaccinations again after one month okay so the vaccine for diphtheria whooping cough and tetanus they are combined into a triple vaccine and given as an injection to make they make a triple vaccine and they give a injection of it and the polio vaccine is given orally you have to eat the vaccine okay they are not injected into your body aapko pata hai na polio ka drop dete hain they give you orally through your mouth right now the next topic is public health service facilities okay so to prevent the fast spread of infectious diseases and epidemics health and community welfare programs are undertaken at national level national level pe health community welfare programs ko start kiya hai government of india ne and this community programs for va va vaccination are also undertaken as a part of national health scheme see this uh, this lesson contains all of the things that we are aware due to covid right covid ke wajah se humne ये सारी चीज़ें यूज कर ली वी आर अवेयर ऑफ द वैक्सीन वी आर अवेयर ऑफ क्वारंटीन सिचुएशन वी आर अवेयर ऑफ हाउ द डिजीज इज स्प्रेडिंग क्विकली राइट सो द चिल्ड्रन आर गिवन द वैक्सीन बाई ट्रेन पीपल एंड स्पेशल कैंप्स आर अरेंज फॉर दिस पर्पज आपने देखा होगा आपके एरिया में पोलियो कैंप लगता है हर संडे हर एक क्लिनिक में राइट सो दिस इज अ कम्युनिटी प्रोग्राम विच डेवलप्स दिस वैक्सीनेशन प्रोग्राम फॉर चिल्ड्रन ओके then there are primary health centers which are which have been stablished at the village level villages mein kya hota hai health centers hota hai unke paas bhi kaun si kaun si facilities hoti hai they have mobile dispensaries they have ambulances and a welfare fund for disabled if the people are disabled they give them fund for their treatment okay services like the examination of the urine and the blood x ray ultrasound other scans are also available through the health programs Now, whenever we get any of the disease, we do various testings. Our urine testing is done, blood testing is done. We do X-ray, we do ultrasound, and we do many things. When we get diseases, the doctor advises us to go and do this test. And so, these are all things which are available in our health program. Okay? Thus, the patient can get the service they need without any delay. Without making any delay, the patient can get the services. Okay? people are also educated about the right methods of handling drinking water and food so people jo log hai unko bhi educate kiya ja raha hai unko bhi aware kiya ja raha hai ki sahi tarika kya hai drinking water ko handle karne ke and food ko rakhne ke okay and they are urged to maintain cleanliness in the surrounding okay there are many awareness drives which goes on and wo logo ko samjhate hain ki why there is a need to maintain cleanliness in the surrounding and it is now forbidden by the law to spit in a public place no one can spit in a public place okay it is banned by the law and if anyone does this they will have to pay fine the purpose of this ban is to prevent the spread of disease because by this spit many of the germs they enter the air and many of the people were getting diseases right so the law has forbidden this and so that the spread of disease is been prevented okay mass media are also used for raising the public awareness about health and hygiene issue mass media involves your news channel your tv channel the serials that you watch youtube and everything social media mass media people are raising awareness people are giving people are letting other people who are not aware they are awareing them ki अपने खुद में क्लिनलीनेस एंड हाइजीन रखना कितना ज़्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट है एंड इफ़ दे विल नॉट मेंटेन क्लिनलीनेस व्हाट आर द एडवर्स कंडीशंस दे विल हैव टू फेस ओके सी डू यू नो एट वन टाइम इट वाज बिलीव दैट डिजीजेस आर कॉज ड्यू टू द एंगर ऑफ द गॉड एविल स्पिरिट्स और ड्यू टू ब्लैक मैजिक पहले बहुत पहले लोग सोचते थे कि कोई भी डिजीज़ अगर हो रहा है कोई भी एपिडेमिक या पेंडेमिक हो रहा है तो द रीज़न फॉर दैट वाज बिकॉज भगवान जी गुस्सा हो गए हैं बिकॉज ऑफ द एविल स्पिरिट भूत के वजह से ब्लैक मैजिक के वजह से डिजीजेज हो रहे हैं ओके सो द रेमिडीज विच वर प्रिस्क्राइब फॉर दिस वर ऑल्सो इन इन ह्यूमन ओके हाउ 
Science has shown that the diseases are caused by microorganisms and this beliefs are false. And that is the only reason. Abhi bhi kuch log aise hain that they believe that this has occurred because of all these reasons. But science, because of the advancement that has done in its field, unhone bata diya hai ki ye saari diseases are caused because of the microorganisms, because of the germs. And they have made people aware that these beliefs are false. They are not right. Okay. Microorganisms, they are also a kind of living thing and all microorganisms do not cause disease because some of the microorganisms are useful for us. Which microorganism? Aapko pata hai, jo mamma milk se dahi banati hai, curd ya yogurt banati hai, us yogurt ke andar bhi ek microorganism present hota hai, which is useful for us, right? Then humare intestine ke andar bhi microorganism present hai. हम जो इटली डोसा खाते हैं उसके फर्मेंटेशन प्रोसेस तो पूरी रात हम बैटर को रखते हैं ना वहाँ पे भी माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स के वजह से ही वो बैटर अच्छे से हो पाता है एंड वी ईट इटलीज एंड डोसा ओके सो नॉट ऑल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर हार्मफुल मेनी ऑफ द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर यूजफुल फॉर अस हु आर हेल्पिंग अस टू एलिमिनेट द पल्यूशन ऑल्सो ठीक है आज साइंटिस्ट ने बहुत सारे ऐसे माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स को ढूंढे हैं एंड दे आर मेकिंग रिसर्च ऑन एट how this microorganisms can help us to solve our human problem as well as the problems that are caused in our environment and surrounding okay see always remember cleanliness a balanced diet and vaccination are essential for the prevention of infectious disease how we will prevent any of the infectious disease by keeping cleanliness your in yourself by taking a healthy and a balanced diet by getting a vaccination these are the three essential ways that you should use so that you can prevent any of the infectious disease from spreading okay so this is the most important point in this lesson okay so what we have learned in this lesson we learned that that the diseases are caused by microorganisms and these diseases are called as infectious diseases right then we saw every infectious disease is caused by a specific microorganism or germ infectious disease spread through water we saw how they spread through water food or air or by direct contact or through insect bites right we saw all all of this how they spread then we take we saw that if care is taken to prevent the germs from entering our body that is by covering our nose and mouth while sneezing by not polluting the water bodies the spread of the disease can be prevented right and if many people in a place get a disease at the same time that disease is called as epidemic and if it happens all the worldwide then it is called as pandemic okay and that is an dash is an excellent method of preventing disease so it is vaccination and that is why it is told that covid 19 ke liye we need to take two doses of our vaccine so that it doesn't occur in us right so vaccination is an excellent method of preventing any of the diseases okay so here we complete the lesson we will just go through all the terms that we started okay we started with what is infectious disease we saw how the disease spread through air spread through water through food through insects right then through direct contact and what is an epidemic of disease then we saw how to prevent disease and vaccination is the excellent way to prevent any of the diseases we saw the public health service facilities that are made available to us by the government there are various community programs which work for it there are primary health centers okay so we are getting each and every facility that is needed okay and i hope that you are clear with this lesson each and every concept that is been covered so we are done here thank you everyone